Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a follow-up Android app review. Um, so a few weeks ago, I reviewed an app slash live wallpaper maker called Custom Live Wallpaper, or KLWP. Um, I was using the free version at the time to create a live wallpaper to set it up as a means of having ease of shortcuts and having a more customizable uh, live wallpaper. So if you wanted a calendar or clocks or whatever, I don't remember offhand exactly, but whatever you want it as a live wallpaper, you can have alternative um, things on your live wallpaper, as your live wallpaper to spruce up your home screen. Um, so in this case, in this review, I'm going to talk about the more, a few more functional things to have a more um, all-in-one live wallpaper. So rather than having some things on your home screen and some things in the live wallpaper, you can do everything within custom live wallpaper. And then towards the end, I'm going to talk about the part that is actually related to the pro version. So if you do buy the pro version, you can export your themes or import other users themes. So if you like something, if you see something that you like that you found, let's say on Google Plus or in communities that you follow where people are sharing their KLWP themes, you can import them and use them as well, much like you'll be able to do here. So I'm going to share a basic for version of what you see on this screen. Um, so I'll get the one brief pre or the two prerequisites out of the way. The first is that I'm using a custom launcher um, so that you can have multiple home screens if you do have a multiple multi-page theme set up. But I do or I am using Action Launcher, in this case Action Launcher version 3.13.0 beta 5. Um, that's not as important as the ability to enable and disable your dock. So in this case, I have set it to zero so that I can have my shortcuts off at the bottom of the screen. And then I also have uh, shortcuts um, set up. So at the moment, I have my app drawer set to swipe from left to right to open my all of my apps. And then I have also set it up to when I swipe up from the bottom of the screen. I can open up my quick search, so I have that as well. Everything else is at default, so swiping down for notifications. And the quick page, which I have it off, but if I wanted a quick page set up, I could have that as well. Um, if you do find a theme online um, that uses multiple pages, uh, Nova Launcher is actually a little bit better because you can create empty um, pages and set whichever one you want as a default. Action Launcher is a little bit weird about that, but if you are using um, app shortcuts, then um, you can kind of get around that. But uh, for me, I have a single page setup going on, so it works out okay. So once you got that going on, uh, the first thing I'm going to do in order to have this layout that you see here is to create a wallpaper where the image or create an image where the top half of the image is the picture that I want. So in this case, I'm going to open Insta Size. And I'm going to select the picture that I want as my top half image. So it's this picture I have where I ran around a lake. And then I'm going to pick the top, um, top half and bottom half um, image selection. So I have two images. And I'm going to, if you have multiple images, you can um, pick a, a, a different image if you want. But if you only have the one, then um, you can just pick the same one again and do what I did and move it over. Um, in the next step, I'm going to set the background to be black, um, just because I want, want uh, the best. I just have a white text on a black background, so it works the best. Um, from here, you're going to do one of two things. You're going to either directly share the image into Snapseed and crop it, or you're going to open it up in your gallery and use your gallery cropping features. Um, it's up to you, whichever way you prefer, um, in case you want to do certain touch-ups or there's other filters that you want to put into the image. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to do a simple crop. So I'm going to do that, get rid of all the extra borders on the side. And actually, if I can get that right and hit the checkbox. So now I have a wallpaper that I can use. So I'm going to hit save and save a copy to my device. Um, from here, you may already have a blank template, but if you're in the same situation as me where I already have something, I'm going to open up the custom live wallpaper app, and I'm going to go to load preset, and I'm going to create a empty template. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my background so I have a point of reference for all my shortcuts. I'm going to select image and pick image, so I'm going to pick the image that I just created and cropped, so I have this. Um, you can set your scroll options if you want, if you're going to have multiple scrolls, if you need to adjust your image or anything or move it around, you can. Um, if you don't want any scroll, you can just set it to off. 
um, KLWP has some uh, filter set, set um, built in. So if you want to have um, some, certain other filters, then you can do that as well. If you want to blur your image, you can do that as well. So um, for me, it says at zero. If you want to dim your wallpaper, if you want to kind of dark or anything like that, you can do that as well. Uh, once that is done, you're going to create a global switch. This we're going to use later in order to have the, um, a hideable menu that we'll see from, um, see later. But as a quick example, when I cl create, click, um, or I'll, actually I'll show when I, after I save it. But basically when we click on a button, we want to be able to have a menu that hides. So I'm going to just call this, uh, fave menu. Um, and just change the type to on off switch. Um, I'm only going to do one menu in this case, but you can uh, basically repeat the process over and over from if you have multiple folders. Uh, from here, we can start creating our menu um, groupings and items. So we're going to click on the plus sign and we're going to set a placeholder for that menu. So in this case, let's do font icon. The default is a star and because we're doing favorites, then um, it works out. So the first thing I will say to do is rename your um, rename any items that you create so you know exactly what they're for. So in this case, I'll call it fave menu because that's what it's for. And then we'll touch it to open it up. And then you can do things like change the icon. So if you want to change it to an up arrow or a paper clip or music or battery or whatever, you can do that. You can change the size. So if you want it to be a specific size, you can. If you want a rotation, you can do that. Um, you can also change the color. So in this case, let's say um, I have, for example, I have dirt there on the side. So I want something that's a little bit more brownish. So I'll go to here a little bit and make it match just as a quick color. I'll change the position from the top to the bottom because I want my bottom to, um, I want my menu on the bottom. And then you can, if you're going to do multiple menus, you can move it around, change the Y, X and Y. So if you want, um, depending on where you want to place it, you can place it in different places. Um, so now we're going to set the animation. So we want um, the, the menu to open as a toggle. So it's going to react when we hit our global switch. Um, and the global switch is our fave menu as an on-off button. Um, the action is actually is going to... Um, if you want, you can have it rotate. You can have it minimize, maximize, scroll in, whatever you want. Um, we're going to do module center. We're going to um, change the duration down a little bit. Um, amount we're going to adjust so um, at the moment it's not um, or we don't have any um, other things going on with it so I'm going to go back and then we're also going to have a touch action so we're going to when we touch it what do we want it to do so we want it to have a uh, we want it to be a global switch so toggle so which switch do we want the favorites menu so now we see that it's um, um, rotating as well. So if we want to adjust that animation as well. So at the moment, it's rotating the whole way. So let's say we want to only rotate it 25%. Uh, so when we touch it, you'll see that it rotates a little bit. You can adjust if you want a uh, um, slightly different offset. So let's say I only want it to turn a little bit. So that way we know that the menu is open. So... Now that we have our menu set, um, we need to add some menu items. So in this case, I want to have it set to only, let's say, three or four menu items. So I'm going to create only one for the sake of time. Um, so from here, we'll click the plus sign again. And I, let's say you want it to be a text menu. So I'll um, select text. But you can also do images if you want, if you want a menu, a row of icons versus a list. Um, so let's say I want... Uh, pick an app that I use all the time. Uh, so let's say I, I, I do listen to a lot of podcasts and I always want to have Pocket Cast as my, one of my menu items as my, my favorite. I'll type that in as a text. You can adjust whatever fonts are available. So just for the sake of uh, fanciness, I'll do Indie Flower. I'll change the size of it to something that's a little bit more legible. Um, because it's in the center of the screen, I'll do center, but you can do adjustments. If you want filters, you can have all uppercase, lowercase, capitalized, things like that. Um, you can change the color if you want. So if you want it to, let's say you want it to be a green, then you can make it green. 
um, as far as positioning, where do you want the text to show up? So I usually sit, pick uh, center or bottom as my as my point of reference, depending on where I want it to go. And then um, actually in this case, because it's going to be uh, close to my menu bottom menu star at the bottom, I'll do bottom. And I want it to open above my star a little bit. Um, I don't do any FX animations. Um, you're going to pick uh, the React on Global Switch, which Global Switch. Um, that part is actually um, optional. So what do you want it to actually do when your menu option opens? So let's say if, um, I want it to fade in when I touch the menu. I'll slow it. I'll speed it up a little bit. I pick fade out and rather than fade in because the fade in option actually does the reverse way. So I'll do fade out. And then uh, for the touch, I'll select the app that I want to launch. So launch app and then I'll go down and pick uh, pocket cast. So a pocket cast is picked. And then I'll, the other thing you also want to do if you're like me is I want the menu to automatically close. So you'll go in and you'll pick the uh, global switch for your favorite menu. That way, when you select whatever app you want, you load, the menu will automatically close. So now we have a favorite menu and we have a, a menu option. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to save it. So now when I click it and it's actually um, doing the opposite way. So I need to go back into here um, and I need to probably actually do it the actually wrong menu item I need to go to my text on animation and I want to let's try fade in so I basically want it hidden right off the bat so when I touch it um, and I actually need to move this out of the way so so I can touch that close the menu so when I get out now when I touch it um, and the star rotates so I know my menu is option. I can hit pocket cast and I can get out. So there we have a brand new live wallpaper. Um, so from here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to not save this, but I am going to load the other preset I have. So I, set, I created this. Um, I saved a image from a wall, um, a comic I follow, or artist I follow, Scott Johnson. He did this droid along the lines of a Star Wars droid. So I did the same process. I copied or I opened the image and insta size, resize it for the screen. And then I uh, created all these different uh, switches for the four folders you see at the bottom. So contact, social, photo, media. Um, nothing, no filters or anything on the background, just a non or a, a standard scrolling wallpaper, but it's fit to the screen. So not much going on there. Um, in the contacts, for the contacts menu, I have is just standard um, a button. Um, but when I push the button itself, I have it set to scale out a little bit. So I'll show that in a minute. Um, I don't think I have any animations on, or actually I have fade in for the menu options. So um, what you'll do when you want to, uh, let's say, add buttons is you can actually select that box on the uh, right there. For example, you, I already created this phone menu item. So let's say I want to duplicate that exact uh, menu item and add another menu item to my contacts menu. So let's say, I, for example, right now I have phone, Gmail, Hangouts, and WhatsApp. But let's say I want to add, um, I, I think I have Skype installed. So let's say I want to add Skype. I'll copy that. I'll hit paste. So now I have the phone option and I'll and then I'll do the same steps. I'll rename everything I want. So Skype. I'll open it up. I'll rename the text. So when I click on the menu option, um, I guess uh, it'll say Skype. And then the only th and then the other thing I need to do is hit touch, change my app shortcut and look for Skype. And so I'll hit Skype. And the only other thing now is to worry about positioning. So I'm going to stick this off to the right a little bit um, just so we have that visibility. And um, the only other thing is if you want to keep everything organized and neat like me, I want to I'll put it up with the rest of the contacts menu options so I know what's going on. And I actually almost forgot one thing. I want my animations to occur with my contacts. Because it's part of the same menu, it's okay. But if you're uh, creating a second menu and you're copying your existing shortcuts to create new ones, let's say you're creating a social media folder, 
then what you'll need to do is you'll need to have your second switch already set up and change it to whatever other one you want. So from here, I'll exit all the way out, hit save, get out. So now when I um, hit my contacts um, button, or let's move this out of the way a little bit. Um, so the first thing when I hit C3PO, his head pops down a little bit as if it's a button press. And now we see Skype show up so I can open up Skype. When I click on the um, icon again, it'll make the button bigger, make the menu go away. Or when I open an app, like let's say I do, um, or icons always get in the way is another example. But let's say I open up Pocket Cast, the button goes back to normal size. So everything is reset back to my normal size. So that's custom live wallpaper. I have actually saved the one you see here um, as a custom live wallpaper. But let's say it's all too much or you don't want to do it, you can always reach out to me. But as an easy way of getting your own shortcuts set up... Um, you can just as easily when you if you create the wallpaper that like you have here then all you have to do is for example I'm gonna delete Skype because I don't need that there but you could you can just as easily rename all of these set the shortcuts and you have menu items um, saved as well so I'll save that and then the other thing is that in order to export a preset or uh, your custom live wallpaper all you do is hit export you'll create a title for your uh, custom live wallpaper and then add a description if you want so uh, for example I'm saying image save from this particular uh, Twitter post from Scott Johnson's Twitter post so I have that as reference in case I lose it or someone wonders where I got it from and they want their want to make it their let's say desktop or regular mobile wallpaper um, I also reference that all my image Star Wars icons are from the Star Wars app and then you can rename your uh, shortcuts as you want and then I have the reference so you guys know who created it and I'll hit export so now it's saved to my device and I can share it, back it up and do whatever I want. And I have a custom live wallpaper that also shows the current weather. And I have it set to when I click on the weather icon, it'll refresh the temperatures. And then when I click on the text, it'll open a full on forecast. So um, there you have it. So that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, want a copy of the live wallpaper for yourself, then you can always uh, email me at headphonesneal.yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. All links for the show and podcast and all of that good stuff can be found on the web at PatelN01.com. And of course, this review and all video reviews can be found on the um, on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. But that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, watching, and listening, and until next time.